Again, my name is Davida P. Jones. I am a serial entrepreneur with businesses in real estate, brand management, and consulting. I've been featured in publications like Thrive Global, Medium, Authority Magazine, Women in Business, Delaware Business Times, and Delaware Today for my work in business and with single moms. Today, I'd like to share with you how I turned my passions into a successful career. Growing up, I remember loving animals. I really loved animals. I had stuffed animals all over my bed. In my family, we were pet people. We had hamsters, guinea pigs, gerbils, rabbits, cats, dogs, and birds. One of my favorite pets was our bird named Tweety. Now, Tweety was special to me because Tweety could talk. And although Tweety could only say, Tweety, she was special to me. Because Tweety was a house pet, she remained in her cage for long hours, and this used to bother me. So one morning, I woke up, and I wanted to give Tweety an equal opportunity as the other birds and allow her to stretch her wings. So I opened the door, and I allowed Tweety to fly away, thinking that she would return at the end of the night. But we all know how this story ends. Tweety never returns, and I'm the villain in the house. I know, be I know you may be asking, where am I going with this? But just hold on. I'm going somewhere. I also remember traveling down the highway with my dad, and we would go from Delaware to Philadelphia often. And I would see animals left on the side of the road that got mixed into traffic. Seeing this would really break my heart. I would cry and cry and cry. This is how much I felt for animals. I loved them. They were people to me. I even thought that I could talk to animals, that I could look an animal right in its face and know exactly what it wanted. This was my superpower. I decided to share my superpower with the world and was met with great criticism. I was called weird. People said, normal people don't go around talking to animals. And because their opinions meant so much to me, I decided to let my animal dreams go. Has this happened to you? Have you had a passion, a dream, a business plan or an idea that you share with family and friends and was met with discouragement, so because of that, you decided to give it up? Well, I'm sure we all have fell victim to this. And for me, that was my animal story. Today in social media, there are hundreds of people that get paid to talk to animals. And when I found this out, I was so upset. Not only I could have continued my passion, but I could have got paid for it. One of my favorite comedians, Tony Baker, is a animal voiceover. And I love him for his take on cat, Skippity Pat. When I was looking through his page, I stumbled upon some comments of people giving him gratitude for his content. One of the comments read, you know what, I was having a really bad day and reading and watching one of your funny animal posts gave me the joy and laughter that I needed. I also could relate. Tony Baker's content made, makes me happy every day. Then I thought further. Not only could I follow my passions and then got compensated for it, but I could have impacted others in a powerful way. It dawned on me that not only are passions for us, they're for others as well. See, I look at it like this, the human body. The human body is full of trillions of cells, and depending on where they're located in the body, they have different jobs and different functions. Some of the obvious ones that sticks out to me are the red blood cells that brings our body oxygen, the white blood cells that fights off and kills bacteria, and the nerve cells that allows us to think and move. Now, although these cells have different roles, they share one common goal, to add to the overall health of the body and make sure we're functioning properly. This reminds me of the human race, mankind. I look at it like, we're a big, giant body, and inside the body, there are billions of people from different backgrounds, different races, different cultures. We have different beliefs and different religions, depending on where we're located. We have different gifts and talents and skills and career paths, but we, too, share a common goal. That is to add to the overall health of mankind. But some of us get distracted chasing power and money and status. See, the way that I was able to create a successful career was by changing my perspective from what I could get to what I could give. So you may be asking, well, how do we do that? How 
do I build a successful career, and how do I impact mankind? Well, I'm going to share three ways that I was able to do that. Number one, identify your passions. Like the story that I mentioned earlier about me loving animal, can you relate? Is there something that you used to love to do as a child, as a teenager, as a young adult that you decided to put away? Maybe you can start there. See, passions are the things that we love. We enjoy doing these things. But for some of us, identifying our passions may not be so easy, and that was my story. For 10 years, I jumped from job to job and career to career trying to find the perfect fit. I couldn't find it. Typically, I would accept a job based on this pay, and because of that, I often was never satisfied. Because of the instabilities in jobs and or remaining at a position that I did not like, I experienced depression and anxiety and sadness. See, sometimes society will pressure us to get it right early in life. They tell us to go to school and pick a major, and that's what we're supposed to do at the age of 18. But that may not always be the case, and that, sure enough, was not my process. <clears throat> See, the way that I was able to identify my passions was first identifying the things that I did not like first. And when I was able to identify the things that I did not like first, I was able to, to gain a clearer picture of the things that I did like, which leads me to my next point. Align your passions with your career. I was able to realize that I enjoyed writing. Writing for me is like an artist with a blank canvas. And once the artist starts to paint, by the time that they're finished, it's this beautiful mural, this beautiful painting. Well, that's how I look at a blank document. Whether I'm writing an article or a biography or a blog, once I'm finished, it's this beautiful piece of writing. Not only I loved writing, I realized I was good at it. So I was able to start searching for jobs with that same description. Now, this is not easy. At that time, I just had my child, I became a single mother, and I was struggling financially. And if you've ever been in a financial bond, you know that this is not the fun part of life. Life actually sucks when you have to wake up in the morning and think about how you're just going to pay the bills. So I was torn between passion and paycheck. I came to a crossroad where I was offered two job positions. One was a six-figure job, paying more, with a laundry list of tasks that I did not like. The other job was an entry-level position, paying less, but the descriptions matched my passion. So you guessed it. I chose my passion job. Now, people called me crazy. They didn't understand why I didn't choose the higher-paying job. But I knew that if I would have chose that management position, that I would have gone right back on the rat race, the rat race that ended me up in unhappiness in the first place. So, I chose my passion job. And because of that, I was able to allow my passions to grow. I started working for a global CEO branding firm. And I worked alongside the CEO for many years. And I learned so much about business and leadership. I quickly excelled to director of operations, overseeing the day-to-day -day tasks, PR, social media, and book publishing. I was able to utilize my passions and write for Fortune 500 companies and Forbes-level CEOs. I was able to interview these CEOs and gain how they became so successful. It was my own Think and Grow Rich project. I oversaw 55% business growth at this company while creating scalable brands, all because I decided to follow my passions. Because I was able to identify my passion, make the sacrifice to align it with my career, and then allow it to grow, I was able to accomplish my lifelong dream, to become an entrepreneur, a businesswoman. Today, I'm a real estate investor with four properties serving low-income communities. I have a brand management and writing company for small businesses, and I am a mentor for single moms who have experienced a single pregnancy or going through single motherhood. See, what I learned is that not only I was able to create a successful career, but I was able to create a fulfilling life by helping others along the way. 
See, your passions are important. They are your inner guiders to how you should live your life. They are not just hobbies and things that you do on your pastime, but they are the big flashing lights on how you can create a successful career and also a fulfilling one. Recently, I lost my father to COVID-19. He died at the age of 60. If I could compare my life to his for a moment, I'm 33, so that means my life is halfway over. What I learned from this tragic loss is that life truly is short. If you're spending any amount of time doing anything that brings the worst out of you, that causes you depression or anxiety or sadness, you're not fulfilled, it's not worth it. Before I close, I would like to recite a poem that I wrote. See, not everyone understands my dreams. I call myself the manifestation queen because everything that I think, I write and I speak, I see. And because of that, I'll continue to believe. See, we all have that same power within, I'm talking about mankind, to do what we love and create fulfilling lives. So make the decision today to follow your passions, follow your dreams, because one day you'll impact the world and your community. And this is my wish for you all, mankind. Again, my name is Davida P. Jones. Thank you.